got a new show for y'all. Can I sit down first? Yeah, we got a good show for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's time for a new show. But first, let's pay some of Harsh Twins bills. <laughs> Go to my website, pick out you a patriotic t-shirt today. Yeah, we got a discount. We got a sale going. Twitter <laughs> it off. Use discount code survival. Cause we just survived this Chinese virus. I went when I got sick the other week, I went to the office and they told us when, right there when we took the test, you know, if you got it, we're gonna call you. Yeah. Right? So <clears throat> I take the test, and you know what's crazy? They took like a Q-tip. Stuck it all up in my nose was actually tickling the back of my eyeballs with it. That was I was the... like, oh, oh, man, what are you doing? <laughs> Can you go a little bit deeper? <laughs> right? And they 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 went up in both holes too, man. It gets... <laughs> man, I can't even see that man's knuckles, man. Yeah. He had his fist up inside my nose. <laughs> but anyway, I get a phone call and I pick it up. Oh, this is the uh COVID uh Chinese virus testing center. I'm like <laughs> She said she's gonna call me. <laughs> yeah. And then as soon as I, as soon as I got that call, I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have even though you we know. Yeah. Not enough percent people survive yeah. that, man. It's just I didn't when you put yourself in that position, yeah. somebody else's shoes are like, hey, 99.9%, that ain't good enough for me. Yeah. I, I need, need to hear this hundred percent survivor. Uh, hey man, we ain't social distancing, man. <laughs> hey, hey man, put your mask on. Joe Biden wants everybody to wear a mask. <laughs> I was he want everybody to wear a mask, man. What are you doing? Gotta wear a mask, man. We gotta, we gotta slow down the curve. <laughs> Take that. Hey, mask. put your damn yeah. mask on. <laughs> Take the damn mask off. All right, Joe Biden gave a nice little speech in front of yeah. that sign. He's he's mentioning that uh, Trump's administration is not moving fast enough to get uh, people vaccinated. Look here, right. when Trump said they was gonna have a vaccine at the end of the year. Yeah, y'all said, nah, that, you can't do that. That's, That's impossible. Yeah, you're crazy. That's never been done because typically yeah. it takes these drug companies years to come up with a vaccine. Right. Right? But because of the Defense Production Act, he got it done. Operation Warp Speed. Right? But you still, to this day, you haven't gave his administration any credit for it. And we knew those vaccines was ready before the election, but they waited till after the election because y'all can't give this man credit for anything. Yeah. But you want to blame him. Because they've only distributed like, I think like a couple million uh, vaccinations to the American people. Say Trump administration not moving fast enough getting people <laughs> vaccinated. When because of the Trump administration, we got a damn vaccine. Mayor de Blasio. You're supposed to be the mayor of the best city in the United States. What? What are you talking about? What? He's supposed to be running the best city. New York City, man. Then shut that city down. You can't go to work because of COVID. Chinese yeah. virus. Think of that, everybody. You can't go earn a living. You can't go to work because your local government says no. Yeah, it's too dangerous for you. <laughs> a virus is 99% survival rate. Think about that, liberal. Think about that, lefty. It's a virus out here. It's spreading. It's going to kill everybody. Yeah. So they shut down Times Square. But what does the mayor of New York City, de Blasio, do? He goes down there. It's all empty. He's down in Times Square. Dancing with his wife to Frank Sinatra. <laughs> New York, New York. I mean, come on. I'm not the brightest candle. And I know that was stupid. You, how out of touch you have to be. You just told your local citizens, your peasants, <laughs> to stay home while you go downtown. You have the city to yourself and you're dancing with your wife. You think that was a good idea? Did he even tweet that? Yeah, man, I did not have that same energy when I had it. I was like, oh, my God. But and that's the weirdest illness I've yeah. ever had. Never had a fever. Just had a bunch of aches and pains. Oh, the headaches was horrible. Yeah, and my back was humming. Yeah, lower back. Turns out when you get COVID, yeah. Chinese virus, your kidneys is working like overtime. Yeah, to flush that Chinese out of you. So if anybody, if you haven't contracted this illness, the best thing to do is, man, I was drinking advanced carapedia like, like six of those a day, yeah. and I was popping Motrin like it was Skittles. I was yeah. popping anywhere from, because I was taking Tylenol at first. Tylenol didn't do nothing. Yeah. I popped 1,000 milligrams of um, <laughs> <laughs> ibuprofen like every five hours, man, to keep yeah. that pain down, man. Yeah, that was. My eye sockets, my skull, man, just feel like somebody was trying to gouge my damn eyes out. The virus? Yeah, it's like no fever. It's like somebody made this virus. It's like, you know what? Make sure you yeah. don't. Because a fever, when you get a fever when you get sick, yeah. it helps destroy the virus in your body, whatever's yeah. causing you. 
that I didn't get no. Maybe yeah. that's why it's. That's hey, I got the feeling that this wasn't made by Mother Nature. <laughs> Bill, I got the I get the hunch that this made it in somebody's lab. Yeah. Who the hell gets sick and don't get a fever unless it's food poisoning? That's what it was. Yeah, you get a fever. Poison. <laughs> Even Doctor Falsius came out and he said, "This is a medical expert." He said. This is going to take... Distributing this vaccine is yeah. going to take a lot longer than anybody would like. Yeah. The medical experts are saying that. Yeah. But Joe Biden wants to blame the Trump administration. They're not moving fast enough. Matter of fact, Joe said he has a challenge for him and his, his administration. First 100 days. The first 100 days, he wants to vaccinate yeah. 100 people. On that page... 100 people? I mean 100 million people. <laughs> I'm missed. like, damn, Joe, you're moving slow as hell. <laughs> That's one. Per, uh, that's um. That's a million people per day. Right. I said, Joe. Even at that pace, it's yeah. going to take over a year to vaccinate the yeah. entire country. So you this even gonna, admit yeah. you even admit it to to the American people. Yeah, I'm moving too slow, my damn self. They pushing all this socialism, which leads to communism. Right. I mean, this is a perfect example of communism. <laughs> Rules for thee, not for me. This dude is. It must be nice to go downtown in New York at Times Square with your wife. <laughs> If you're on the left, y'all don't see nothing wrong with this. Well, you know what, man? That's the biggest problem, man, we have, man. They don't even realize it. They're just brain dead. Well, it's they, like they look at it from this point of view. Oh, man, look, there's our mayor. Oh, look at his wife. She's black. That's beautiful. <laughs> you know what the lefties was probably said? Oh, look what courage they have. We have a global pandemic going. And look, they're dancing for us. With his wife. Wow. What such a great guy. He's not dancing for him and his wife. He's dancing for us. Yeah, that's what he's doing. You know what's crazy? Like, when I was sick with COVID, I was locked in this room. I was quarantined. It yeah. was my wife. Um, that room I was in for like two weeks. Yeah. I go in there. I didn't see where she was at. I go in there. I see somebody just standing in this blue suit from head to toe. <laughs> like they about to go to the moon. And I'm like, baby, is that you? <laughs> in that cleaning up. You can't even hear her. <laughs> She got this damn blue suit on. <laughs> My wife wouldn't come nowhere near me, man. Let me say something else. The governor of that damn state, <laughs> Cuomo, right? This dude, a few weeks back, yeah. they was trying to uh, mandate masks, and the, the sheriff in one of the cities there, yeah. in one of the towns there, said he wasn't going to enforce. He said he was going to enforce. The reason why he said he wasn't going to enforce it, because Let he sued that damn sheriff. Man. Yeah, because he felt that was unconstitutional. Thank you for your service, brother. Right? So the sheriff just didn't want to enforce that. What does Cuomo say as the governor of the state of New York City? That man said that sheriff was a damn dictator. Do you know what the definition of dictator means? Huh? I mean, your definition of dictator, I don't think that's what it means. That sheriff is upholding the Constitution. Yeah. This is what y'all working with in New York. Yeah. The governor and the mayor of New York City. You, you know what? He brings up, when I get in office, I'm he said, I'm going to sign 100 day, first 100 days, everybody got to wear a mask. <laughs> Everybody's wearing masks. <laughs> that's, not why the, that's not why we have a pandemic, Joe. Yeah. It's because China released a damn pandemic across the entire globe. Yeah. You think masks going to stop this? If y'all was really serious about yeah. stopping this damn virus, y'all would have <laughs> sent out hazmat suits to every American. <laughs> If yeah. y'all really, now that would have saved lives. Hey, that would, hey, I would have been keeping them damn ventilators. Them damn ventilators was thousands of dollars. You know how many damn hazmat suits you can put together? <laughs> anyway, like I was saying about Joe, the Defense Production Act. Yeah. Trump's already did that. Yeah. And we already wearing masks. Yeah, and it's uh, like when I was recovering, I said, Man, I got to recover from this. Because you know how liberals are. They'd be all over the, ah, uh -huh. twins passed away. Yeah. They didn't wear the mask. They're Trump supporters. They get what they deserve. Yeah, like, I deserve to die but yeah. for being a Trump supporter. Yeah, because on the left, they is. They're kind of weird over there. They, they like to see evil stuff, happen, horrible stuff happen to people just to prove their point. Yeah. But it didn't get me. <laughs> I'm still here, lefty. Still here. I'm still alive. Let's say the mayor of New York City was Republican. It ain't going to if, happen. If, if he did this, yeah. the media would eat his ass alive. Yeah. But the media, what are they doing with uh, de Blasio? They covering for him. Yeah. And of course, in this speech, he's got to bring up race. Race. He talking about when he get in office. 
He's going to make sure the vaccine is given to everybody, regardless of the color of your skin, your economic background. Yeah, if you're black, you're Mexican, you're Native American, you're going to get the vaccine too. What is that? What does that imply when he says something like that? That right this now, country Trump is horrible. Is just, yeah, right. What? That this country is horrible. This is a horrible racist country, and currently just the Trump administration is giving it to <laughs> white people. Yeah, like black and brown people is coming to get the vaccines. Hey, hey, you get out of line. We got to give it to all the white people first. Yeah, is that really going down like that, Joe? You got any evidence of black and Native American Mexicans not getting a vaccine because they're Mexicans yeah. and blacks? All the Democrats, that's all they do is point the finger at the other guy. Yeah, yeah, like, Trump's, yeah. Trump's like it's moving. their fault. Yeah, Everything. Trump's not moving fast enough. Yeah. But then again, next breath, he's talking about Dr. Fauci. He's talking about this is going to take a lot longer than y'all like. Yeah, and he's talking about I'm going to sign an executive order to speed everything up. Yeah, the defense, uh, defense this, this production is what he, He's pretty much saying, hey, this is President-elect Joe Biden. Hey, executive order, here, speed this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Trump's already did all of this. You're just copying from his, plain, his playbook, mm -hmm. but he's moving too slow. Yes, what all ideas do you have, Joe, for this country that's going to get this country through this pandemic quicker, faster, and better? What ideas? You don't have any ideas. Yeah. You're just talking out the side of your mouth. Yeah, and you're just pointing your finger to the other guy. I'm going to show you this clean-ass T-shirt I got on. <laughs> you can get 20% off. Just type in discount code Chinese virus. Because China is making viruses great again. <laughs> it's Chinese. <laughs>